Hello again, friends. Opinion article. Prophecies of Amanda Grace. Keep your eyes on China. Let the Lord bait the enemy. The Jubilee is a very slow process. A space victory over the chimera. Over the chimera. Not only the surface network remains. It will be addressed when the threat disappears. Networks of abuse begin to disintegrate. The Taiwanese dragons made the exhibition. The Jupiter Saturn conjunction of 2nd November activates everything. Mercury stops being retrograde on 3rd November and tension is relieved. Let's start. I have discovered these prophecies and she says very interesting things. Keep your eyes on China, says the Lord. I see what they are up to. None of their plots are working, and they will fail in the end. I have my chest in the palm of my hand, and no hair of her head will be harmed. This is a sum summary of the latest prophecies of Amanda Grace, who has become famous in the USA and all over the world. China has the most shares in CNN and the New York Times. China owns the oil and gas in Ukraine. The lot says that in 2021 the media will see the biggest crisis they have ever seen. The Lord mentioned the term Icabot on the doors of the wall of the churches that have been with these secret societies, people in a spiritual barren desert. Ikebot means that the glory of God is gone, which implies judgment them, and you will see that the judgment will take place. Failure. Occultism is furious. They have fired all their bullets and have run out of munition. They have only one bullet left in the chamber for themselves. They have arrested many people, the main people and they are not what they used to be. The hallmark of a brilliant, brilliant chess player is his ability to lure, to lure his opponent into a trap to make move he thinks will benefit him, but it's really checkmate. It, it's what's called in chess Thug Wang, where no matter that move the enemy makes, he's finished and will receive checkmate. It's just a matter of time. The Allies' plan is a massive set of folders that go into every move and counter move that the swamp could, swamp could make. Let the Lord bait the enemy. Let him each debate it, debate, because you are going to see a checkmate come out of this. The enemy made moves he thought would benefit him and they got caught. They have fallen into the hole they dug for others. That's in the book of Psalms or Proverbs. Trial. The Lord said, the entities will be judged because they have become a censor of the enemy, and also his command to, sil to silence those who speak the truth and proclaim the sober power of my word. The chain of command giving such orders will be broken fractured and disintegrated, the conglomerates of annihilate intentions will be forced to break. This species will come into focus towards the end of the year 2021, for what, is, what seems to have failed to fit together will fit together like a well-designed puzzle, and complete picture is being formed. More than one business tycoon will be humiliated and fall from the heights of false philanthropy, where so many people were deceived for so long. The Lord said, look at the Tower of Liberty in New York City in 2021. Something comes of that tower. I don't think it's a good thing. The Lord also mentioned the name of Warren Buffett. The Lord will warn and warn and warn like Noah and the ark. They had a hundred years to repent 
and get to that ark. It took Noah a hundred years to build that ark. That's a long time for people to repent and get on the ark. The Lord wants to war now and then get the righteous out of the way before the judgment come, comes. Praise the Creator. Who is Amanda Grace? Amanda Grace endured a 16-year battle with a rare autoimmune neuropathy called small fiber neuropathy that ended her in a wheelchair in 2014, unable to move from the waist down, with a faith that moves the mountain and God's intubation. She miraculous, miraculously got up from the wheelchair and began an incredible journey with the law towards health and redemption redemption of what she has lost. It is a prophetically charged mounting, moving faith in what an great preaches as she teaches God's word to others and encourages those who are going through difficult times. She also has an animal sanctuary, Nose Ark, which she frequently incorporates into her YouTube ch channel and Bible teachings. Amanda wants to see those who persevere with the Lord's help and truly turn their trials into testimonies. The tensions. The armed forces have been secretly deployed all over the world, and that is why we do not see any spectacular events. The coalition is doing its work in silence. The National Security Agency and various armies around the world, including the International Force, are authorized to make arrest in any country through Interpol. The heights of March 2021, swamp members around the world were expected to be stripped of their power by full disclosure of the names of those arrested, tried and convicted, including videos of their confessions. In the presidential election, the swamp was expected to cause widespread chaos by disrupting the distribution of food and delivery system, financing riots in major cities and causing confusion in voting booths in order to stop re-election and currency adjustment exchanges. We could expect mass arrests and perhaps some fo form of martial law. Jabli, the beauty of the divine plan is humanity. Money was never the main objective, but to achieve peace through the world and the elimination of the corruption that controls us. The jubilee of debt will not happen suddenly or appear in the news, but it's a slow process that will be done gradually and with much discretion. The elimination, the elimination of debt alone is enormous. For those who are not in debt, Think of the opportunities that await them. Mortgages have been revalued at low prices, allowing many to enter the game. This is called opportunity. This world needs, needs innovators, ideas, businesses, employers, and for older people with social security. The plan is to help other people prosper rather than simply survive. The Chinese elders are different multi-generational multi Chinese families living in the Philippines, in the Philippines, who over the centuries have owned and been responsible for about 90% of the world's gold, lending it to countries for the establishment of their financial systems. Light has won. Light has won, but This is not a surprise because light always wins over darkness when it is turned on. The latest updated report of the final battle published by Cobra of the Intelligence Central for the Victory of the Light could, couldn't be more optimistic. The forces of the Galactic Confederation and the Resistance have succeeded in whipping out the Draco fleet and the Illuminoid cleavage complex. The only drugs left now are those physical and non-physical drugs who are directly employed as servants of the Chimera 
and the naturalized drugs who came mainly to the planet Earth over 25,000 years ago entered the cycle of incarnation in humanoid bodies and are now incarnated as politicians, bankers, lawyers and other members of the surface of the clique. A very small number of naturalized drugs also came to planet Earth in the 1996-1999 time period when they entered humanoid clone bodies in underground bases and then came to the first surface as double a look alike of many politicians and are still part of the illuminating surf surface. Surface network, network with a complex go, the only one the only net left is the dark surface net. The surface grid will be properly addressed only after the threat for Chimera has significantly dis diminished. The main problem that remains now is the Chimera with its advanced exotic military technologies, especially quantum superposition toplet bombs. The forces of light are continuing operations, now fo focusing on the removal of the Chimera fleet in Middle Earth. Orbit, allow Earth orbit, and on the cleanup of chimeras and the ground bases. At the underground bases, the forces of light are using quantum molnir cannons and sonic weapons to remove as many physical chimera spiders as possible. Some of these spiders are huge, measuring up to 10 meters in diameter. A spider nest. There are a huge spider nets at the Chimera underground bases, and altogether they form a web, a negative low lying construction that is the antithesis of the flow of life's low lying grid on the surface. Although many of these spiders are being eliminated by the forces of light, the Chimera replenish the nest with fresh spiders that materialize from the quantum overlay state with advanced manifestation chambers. As soon as the quantum deposit of the chimera spiders disappears, the forces of light can clean the underground bases of the chimera completely. They are now focusing on the removal of the key chimera spiders that form the backbone of the quarantine matrix system on Earth. They have already succeeded in eliminating the spider queen, who was responsible for the destruction of the goddess temples in Atlantis and the destruction of the goddess mysteries in the first and second Archon invasions. She was, force, she was the force behind the Inquisition and more recently the force behind the global networks of abuse using mothers of darkness in the, to do the dirty work. Abuse Network With the disappearance of the Spider Queen, the webs of abuse on the surface will now slowly begin to disintegrate as they are exposed to the surface population. Many light workers and warriors of light, especially those who possess the goddess energy, were directly or indirectly trauma traumatized by the Spider Queen in many incarnations, and these traumas will, will now begin to heal. The etheric spider venom that she and other chimera spiders were emanating are using in their attacks and which was destroying many soulmate relationships on the surface will now begin to dissipate and clear. Now the exposure of the West webs of abuse is becoming widespread as the Taiwanese dragons and other sources are exposing the girls and their involvement on, in those webs. The Taiwanese dragons decided to make public the history and information about Chinese counterintelligence operations against the United States as a countermeasure to mainland China's threats to attack Taiwan. Dragon sources have repeatedly said that they will organize full disclosure of mainland China's secret space programs in the event of any aggression against Taiwan's national sovereignty. Astrology. The election day approaches important astrological configurations are taking place. The first is the heliocentric conjunction Jupiter-Saturn on November 2nd at 
1852. The Jupiter-Saturn conjunction will effectively activate the Aquarian age for the entire solar system beyond the lunar orbit. At that time, a massive operation will begin and will require a complete reorganization of the entire fleet beyond the lunar orbit. The second aspect is that Mercury ceases to be retrograde and rotate directly on November 3rd at 5.50 Greenwich Meridian Time. This will relieve some of the tension and uncertainty, uncertainty but the final relief will come in March 2021. Victory of Light The Duck Fleet According to Cory Good, the Duck Fleet was one of the most mysterious factions even within the highest secret. The Duck Fleet has its origins in the secret German space program, when this group formed, formed a strong alliance with the Draco. Their ships are very similar to, draw, to those in the movie Star Wars. The Draco ships were either drop-shaped or tear-shaped. The Draco have recruited other races into their alliances over time, and the Duck Fleet appears to have participated in special military forces in, co in contact with the secret space program. It had a complex of highly advanced sh ships and facilities provided by the Interplanetary Corporate Conglomerate as well as offensive weapon weaponry. Beyond the lunar orbit, or a multidimensional accession portal is being activated with many positive cosmic races present, present in our solar system with their motherships. In sublunar space, however, the situation was quite different. The Draco fleet of ships still maintained a certain degree of control in the region in Shalint by the forces of light. The trucks kept their electromagnetic technology climbing in the etheric plane near the planetary surface, and there are still sub chimera spiders into the etheric plane, just inside the lunar orbit, the lunar orbit, which made it difficult for the Federation's fleet to enter sublunar space. All the plasma chimera spiders were successfully successfully eliminated some months ago, and there are still some etheric spiders that will be easier to eliminate, thanks God. That's all for today, and thank you very much to everybody.